Hey everyone, it's John with Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here today with a crew comparison of two espresso machines. We have the Rocket Espresso Mozza Fiato Timer Type V. If that's a mouthful, you can just call it the Mozzie V like us. We're pitting that up against the Diletta Bello Plus. The Mozzie V is one of our most popular Rocket Espresso models, and there are a lot of comparable features on the Bello Plus, so it'll be interesting to see how these two stack up. We're gonna cover the design, features, pros and cons, and why one of these might be a better fit for you. So be sure to stay till the end of the video. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about the design of these two machines. They're both E61 machines. So you have the E61 group in the center of both, and they both have knobs for steam and hot water. Aside from that, they do look a little bit different overall because the Bella Plus is shorter and longer. The Mozzie is not as deep as the Bella Plus is. It's a little bit shallower, but it is much taller. That's mainly because the cup rail is built into the side panel. Talking about the design a little more, they both have the same amount of information on the face of the machine with that pressure gauge. The Bella Plus has a dual purpose pressure gauge with boiler pressure on one and grip pressure at the bottom. The Mozzie looks a little bit more balanced because it splits that pressure gauge into two separate gauges and also has a beautiful little integrated shot timer that counts how long your shot's been brewing for. It doesn't offer any programming. It doesn't stop your shot for you. It just tells you how long you've been brewing for. Let's talk a little about the features of these machines, starting with the Bello Plus. The biggest deal about this machine is that built-in PID on the face of the machine. It's integrated really cleanly and gives you good information. Additionally, it has a lot of good features. So you get the ability to change pre-infusion time, which is a really helpful feature. We cover that more in the crew review of this machine. You also get standby or eco modes and the ability to change how long the machine rests for before it goes into either of those modes. The Mozzie, on the other hand, has a PID. It's hidden behind the drip tray and does not offer the same amount of adjustability as the one on the Bello Plus. The Bello does have a larger heating element than the Rocket does, so recovery time should be a little bit better. The drip tray is a little bit larger, and that means more time between having to empty it and less chance of spilling if you're emptying it frequently. One important feature to note on Rocket is they have a class leading warranty. It's a three year warranty on parts and labor. Most espresso machines have a one or two year warranty. The Bello Plus is a bit better with that two year warranty but it's really hard to compete with a three-year warranty on a rocket we already touched on this a little bit but let's talk specifically about pros and cons between these two machines the biggest pro of the Bello Plus a is that PID and secondly is the value if you look at the price point between these two you're getting a lot of machine for your money going with the Bello Plus the con of the Diletta ties into the pro of the rocket and that's the exterior fit and finish. It is good fit and finish on the Diletta, but it's not quite on the level of Rocket. The internals of these machines are very similar and both very durable, but the Rocket takes the cake just a bit more than the Diletta. Talking more about the pros of the Rocket, it's really centered around that build quality, beautiful aesthetics, and brand. Rocket has been around for a long time. They have a lot of models. They're very well known and well established in the coffee community. Moving to the cons of the Mozzie, to me, it's really that PID. I wish it had more settings like the Bello Plus offers. One last thing about pros and cons between these two, and it really depends on your specific needs, is the shape of each. The Bello is shorter, but deeper. The Rocket is a little bit less deep, but it is taller. So depending on where you're gonna put the machine in your house, one of these might make more sense for your specific needs. Before we move into our final thoughts, let's make some coffee on each so you can see how they both stack up.
So, which machine is right for you? Ultimately, that's up for you to decide. I don't think you could go wrong with either, but if you make a lot of milk-based drinks with the occasional espresso in there, a PID heat exchanger machine could be right for you. They have great recovery times, and the adjustability from the PID gives you some additional control if you drink a light roast some days or dark roast other days. If you're shopping for your next espresso machine, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you know when we're releasing new videos. We're always putting out new content, and speaking of that, you can also sign up for our email newsletter through the link in the description, and we'll tell you about any sales or new products that are coming out. As a thank you, we'll also send you a 10% off coupon. That's good for one item. There's some exclusions to that, so be sure to chat with our teams about any questions you might have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day and keep making coffee.